What's good, my hidden cloud shinobi? What's good, striker community? It's your right Kage, and I'm back at it again with another fire Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can counter the Kuruma Edge Clause, the ATK SS Plus weapon. This thing is absolutely dog water. That's right. Anybody who used this is can. You feel me? Man, I know we are absolutely tired of these kids running around on the field using these things like they really got some type of skill with the one button mashing. They controller only got one button having. I am so tired of this shotting gun, infinite subbing, always got to run. Man, I, I, I can't even say enough, boys. But you know what? Today. We are going to be countering this, man. We're going to jump in with four of the builds that I like to use to mess around with these edge claws, sweat demons. We got a build for every class, boys. So if you're a main on any of the build, uh, any of the classes, don't worry. We got you. We got you covered. We're going to get right into this, boys, and absolutely start dominating these edge claw weenie hut juniors. You feel me? But before we get into this video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can make sure you never miss out on how to counter these ATK sweats. And yo, all my Klaus Shinobi, drop that cloud emoji. Y'all know what it is. Let's get it. All right, now let's get into the big major secret that actually counters the edge claws, and that secret is super armor. That's right, boys. So defense, you're actually going to reign king when it comes to defending against these boys. But first, let's talk about the attacks class. Now, I'm no attack main, so I'm going to let you attack mains go ahead and fully put this build together. But we are swiftly going to go over this for our weapon. We're using the Karuma Edge Claws because I figure, hey, we might as well use the weapon right back again. If you ATK and you do got the weapon, go ahead and just use the weapon back, bro. That's the best counter. Hit him with it first. You feel me? <laughs> now, for our first ninjutsu, we are going to be rocking Shotgun. So that we can have multiple subs on the field. It just gives us more health. And it allows us to escape a combo for free. Now our next ninjutsu is the Uchiha style Obo Roboruma. And this is going to allow us to throw down that shuriken. And if we get caught up in a combo. We can call that shuriken to us. And it's going to allow us to just you know stun lock anybody that's comboing us or anybody in the vicinity you know what i mean now for our ninja tool we got the purple lightning and this thing is going to give you that super armor that we was talking about earlier yes sir boys so that you can actually counter anything that's coming at you so no edge claw attacks will actually make you flinch and you can actually stop them from beating down on you you know what i'm saying boys now Let's get into the next class. Next up, we got the healer class, boys. Now, really swiftly, y'all know what it is. Let's get right into this build. For our weapon, we are going to be using the SS Plus healer weapon. Yes, sir. Itachi's Tosca Blade. Now, this thing right here is absolutely devastating when it comes to combos. And the damage is nasty. So, this is definitely a weapon you're going to want to be using against somebody like the edge claws and your heavy attacks give you a nice zoning tool so it's definitely a good tool to use now really quick we're going to be going over the ninjutsu because they're absolutely easy and basic to use now first up you got limbo border gel this thing allows you to cast while you're getting mixed up in combo so you can actually Break free of an edge claw combo if you have Limbo Border Gel. Next up, we got Strength of 100 Hard Light. Now, it's basically the same exact thing as Border Gel, but except you don't get a free combo 
you still get to break free. It gives you a heal uh, for the amount of damage that you took. So that's that's absolutely a great tool. For our ultimate, we're just going to be using Infinite Sukiyomi because that instantly puts the Kuruma Edge Claw users at a one shot, and then you could just get a free kill that way. So that's another free counter on that one. And then for our ninja tool, we got the Master of Medicine. This ninja tool allows you to, you know, gain a little bit of health, but also it gives you that super armor that we was talking about. That's for every build. Now, let's talk about the defensive class. Now, like I said, defense, there's way too many things that you have that we could have put on this build or put on this list for you to counter the edge claws. But you know what? I went with a very simple build, and I also wanted to put in something that you can use while you're getting comboed because I feel like that that's like the biggest thing is to get out of the combo once you're in it. So we got eight trigrams body blow. This is going to help you get out of that combo while you're in the mix of it. It allows you to just knock back anybody in the vicinity and boosting your defense. It's a great skill to break combos. Next up, we got Susano armor. Now, y'all know you can't go wrong with the Susano armor. If you just use it right before you get in that fight, then you could you could actually counter that guy and just, you know, stop him from beating down on you now usually they run but you know that's how it goes man you know that's how it goes if you can just play your time right play your skills right use your you know use your cooldowns properly you could definitely whoop them with this susano armor and body blow but for our ninja tool we're going to be using the master of medicine yet again giving us some more super armor on the defensive type now i know it's just basically overkill but that's like really what you're going to want to use to stop the edge claws. And plus, defense. You can use your heavy attacks. Every heavy attack is super armored, whether you're in the air or whether you're on the ground. So, there you go. Defense. Now, let's get into the range type, boys. Now, the range type is a little iffy here. Now, the really, what I say is, range, you're going to have to use your evasion speed. You're going to have to learn how to kite, as they say. You're going to learn how to zone the player you are fighting. Play keep away. Okay? That's going to be range's most powerful strength is to use your range ninjutsu. But using this build right here, we could be a little bit more physical. So our first ninjutsu is going to be Shiganami Dance Shield. This shield follows people, I mean, to heavens and earth. You know what I mean? The tracking on it is amazing. Even after they sub, it still tracks. So if they run up on you, you could trap them, slowing down all their movement with this. Now, next up, we got Flash Slice. Now, we all know about Flash Slice, absolute dominator on the field, especially in a 1v1 situation. So you can counter about 95% of the ATK Sweat Ninjutsu, including Shouting Gun with Flash Slice. So that's why I highly recommend Flash Slice, boys. Now, with the weapon, we are using the SS Plus weapon. If you don't have the SS Plus weapon, I just recommend any Kuzanagi sword because the Kuzanagi combos, are they do a lot of damage. And if you can just sub-lock them or sub-beat them and then get them in the paper or Flash Slice, get yourself a free combo, then you could just Kuzanagi combo an Edge Claw kid to death. Now, we also got... The purple lightning for our ninja tool giving ourselves that super armor because range didn't have really any super armor now for our ultimate we're using baruto's karma progression awakening just to you know use the alt man you know we got to get that free heal and it's also a swift free kill you know what i'm saying boys i know i didn't talk about the defense of alt boys but you know like i said there's so many things on defense you could just go read your skills and just like, bro, defense dominates ATK, in my opinion, boys, in my opinion, you know. So without further ado, y'all know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you see anything you like. And all my cloud shinobi, make sure y'all drop that cloud emoji. Y'all know what to do. Everybody else, I want to see y'all emoji too. Social representation for your village in the comment section below, boys. 
Let me see it. Go crazy. Y'all have a good one. Love and peace. Decided.